guys, it's Jessica with Fantabulosity, and the other day I posted about my Ninja coffee maker, and some of you said, it intimidates me. Like, can you do a video on how to use it? And I thought, well, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I use it every morning, and I totally get how it intimidates you, because it intimidated me at first, too, but when I started to use it, I was like, oh. Okay, so it can be as simple as you want it, or you can make it fancier. So what I thought I would do is just, I'm gonna make a normal cup of coffee like I do um, in the mornings, but occasionally I'll add in, like I'll froth some creamer, or some heavy cream, or some milk for my coffee, and I'll show you how to do that too. But uh, first I wanna tell you, this is the Ninja, what is it, I have it down here. It's, C, it's the CF, 091 model and I'll link to it in the description here onto Amazon for this one. There's a few different models but this is um, the one that I have and actually I've heard from some other people they've seen they're like oh I like that one better than mine because of X or um, because it comes with the uh, comes with the carafe too and I actually use both. I use the single serve option or the carafe because if I have like a friend coming over or I wanna make a, you know, more than just one cup, that comes in super handy. So, for just one cup, I turn it on, the power button's down here, and then I make sure there's water in it, but I put water in it before we started so I wouldn't have to do that. And then this just pulls open here, and that's where you're gonna put your coffee. So this is, um, it's, it was quite a change for me because I'm used to the Keurig where I do the K-cups and I thought, oh, it's gonna be such a pain and a hassle to have to put coffee grounds in and then dump it out. It's really not that bad. <laughs> um, so this pulls out, it's dripping with water because I just washed it, but this pulls out to dump out your coffee grounds and then it just goes right back in. So I turn it on, or if it's not on in the morning, and guys, this is if I haven't set it the night before to brew for me the next morning. So that's just another option it does, just like a coffee pot. There are coffee pots that you can schedule to brew. And I really feel on top of my game when I do that, but I don't always do it. All right, so with this, it comes with this little handy dandy scooper thing. So it's two different sizes. This is the big one that I use for the big carafe or I use a small one if I'm just making one cup for me. Now, for my preference, I use about one and a half of the small little scoop for a cup, a coffee cup. Um, and then you push it back in. If I'm using a carafe, I do two of the big ones. And again, that's just for me. You may like it stronger, it just all depends. It takes a little trial and error. Okay, so then that's in there. And this little dial here, you change it to what you want what size you want to brew. And I know I'm not on the camera, <laughs> but I would rather you look at this. Okay, so right here is just a regular small coffee cup, a big coffee cup, a travel size coffee cup, a multi-serve, looks like a coffee cup. I've never used that one, so I don't know. I don't know if that's like a jumbo like Yeti or something. I don't know, I'll have to try it sometime. And then what's cool about it is you can do a half of a carafe, so if you want more than just a coffee cup, but you don't want a full carafe, you have that option or the full one. Okay, so I'm doing the coffee cup, so it's lit up here, and then I always click or push classic brew. Um, my husband has done the rich brew before. Uh, there's an over ice option, so if you want like an ice latte or like an ice chai tea or something, uh, that's good for that. There's a specialty option, the concentrated, it's a four ounce. So that kind of, I'm no coffee connoisseur, but that kind of reminds me of like an espresso or something. So there's just like really thick, kind of dark option. And this Cafe Forte, I've read on that and that's just like, it gets fancy for saying like, I, I have it pulled up here, but it's something about how it really helps with the coffee flavor. It amplifies your coffee for a more full bodied, complex, complex flavor and all this stuff. I do classic brew because that's, how I roll. It's simple, it's quick, and when it's morning time, I'm, I'm easy and I'm simple. <laughs> All right, so I have that lit up, and then I hit Classic Brew. Now, what you wanna check is make sure this isn't pulled over here for Drink Stop. I never mess with that, but sometimes if you want, or Drink Stop, Drip Stop. Sometimes I think you'll shut it off if you want it to stop brewing so you can pour a cup or whatever, but I always leave it on. Now what it'll do is what tricked me at the very first. It'll spit out a little bit and then it'll stop. And if you have a Keurig that is ever messed up, like mine, it will brew sometimes. 
and it'll just stop. It'll stop working and it'll like spit out small amounts. So when this did this the first time, I was like, are you kidding me? This is a brand new coffee machine. And then I start reading the directions and it does that. And it's some kind of coffee process. Like there's a reason it does that. I don't remember why. So it pauses for just a second and then it'll kick back and start going again and it'll brew the cup. Now, while it's brewing, what I will do is I'll grab, sometimes, I'll grab like my milk or my heavy cream or my creamer and I'll pour it into my little designated uh, little cup. I use this for the same process every time. I pour as much creamer in to my little cup here that I would pour directly into my coffee. And then I head to my microwave, I mean it's brewing anyway, and I pop it in for like 15 seconds. Okay, now you don't have to heat this up if you don't want to. Sometimes I do like to leave it a little bit colder because it cools down my coffee and I can start drinking it faster. But here's what I do. This little thing pops out to the side here and you stick your cup under and you push down on the button. And the directions say for like 30 seconds, which is fine with me because I'm standing here waiting for that anyway. Now, if you've read my blog post on um, Oh, I forget exactly how I named it. It was something about tips for getting more things done or, uh, yeah, I don't remember what I called it now, but I can link to it too. A lot of times when my coffee's making, I will start cleaning out the dishwasher or I'll clean up the counter or do something else while the coffee's brewing. But on the mornings where I want a fancy little coffee, I'm not doing that, I'm doing this. So this is not difficult. It doesn't take a lot of time, but you can kind of, I don't know if you can see, but it's frogged. Is that, is that how you say it? Frogged up? You can tell I've never worked at Starbucks or some fancy coffee shop. But that's about it, or that's good enough. And then the thing beeps at me and lets me know it's done. So I pull this off and then, the only thing I don't like is that it'll drip from here. Now you can take this off and wash it after you use it, which is cool. But I kinda wish like they had a little thing here that popped out that caught the drip so it doesn't drip on my counter. So a lot of times I'll have like a drip mess, but that kind of stinks. But you can easily put like a saucer there, like a lid to a jar or something, you know, or something cute um, to catch the drips. All right, so then I just take my coffee and I pour, I hope you can see, and then I pour it right in. How fun, right? Now, no, I'm no design artist and I did not make a fun little design but it gives me that froth that I like so much on some mornings. And I put that there to catch more drips. It did already drip on my counter, which kind of stinks. Okay, and then it's ready. That's it. So <clears throat> what's cool about the carafe, oh, and then this little scoop goes right back in here. But what's cool about the carafe is, okay, nope, I don't want a single cup. Mama needs a lot of coffee this morning. And you shove that right in there. And then that's it. So there are a lot of options. Don't let it intimidate you, especially if I can do like something like this. It means it's easy. I absolutely love it. I don't use my Keurig anymore unless there's just, if I'm out of like coffee grounds or something and I have a random cake up laying around, I may use it, but this is my go-to for sure. So I clean this like I do a Keurig or another coffee pot. I run some like half vinegar, half water through it. Um, I did it yesterday actually and it, the coffee actually tasted better this morning after I did that. So um, it's super easy to clean. That's about it. I love this thing. I love how so many of you two were like, the ninja all the way. <laughs> I was like, yes, thank you. Um, so anyway, so that is it. I hope you're not intimidated by it anymore. I will put the link to it on Amazon. You can get it in all different kinds of stores too, I'm sure. Um, the link I will give to you is my affiliate link. So if you click on it and you go to Amazon and you do buy it, I could get a kickback. I say could because it's never... I don't know. It, I never know if that really works or not sometimes, <laughs> but I could get a kickback from it. It's not a lot. It's not going to make me retire anytime soon or anything, but I just wanted to disclose that, that that link is a referral link for that. But I hope um, that helped. I hope you're not intimidated by it. I hope you love it as much as I do. And as far as I, I think um, I want to answer one more question. Does it take up a lot of counter space? Not really. Like it's more tall than it is wide and it's not any bigger than my Keurig and what's cool with oops what's cool with this is it just pops right back and you can hide it if you want 
um, but you do need to make sure you have enough space to whip this puppy out to use it when you do put it on your counter. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye.